Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Snow Mountain Mineral Water. Next up is Run Tan Natural Selenium Mineral Water. And just like my last review, these two are also both from China. These were both given to me by Ian Zulo from the channel Ian Drinks Water. Uh, you should check out Ian's channel and uh, you know, thanks again Ian for sending me these waters. In my last review, those two waters were from Beijing, China. These two waters are from Lushan, China. And again, it's very difficult for me to research these waters because I don't speak Chinese. And you know, pretty much all the writing on the bottle and all the information on Google is in Chinese. So I kind of had to use Google Translate to get my information about these waters. So let's start off with Run Tan. Natural selenium mineral water. This is 500 milliliters, which is a pretty standard size. And Google Translate says, A scarce quality natural with sun mineral water take from National Geopark, National Forest Park, a moon, the underground deep mineral water source. Trace elements repair high partial silicate acid selenia low with natural alkaline and for the snow mountain mineral water this is 350 milliliters ian says that this water was six yon and google translate says tibtan Paletu altitude 6000 meters kunu snow snow soy low financial participation a rock after 50 years above the filter and mineralization into the valuable snow mineral water. Water quality, natural, pure pan, substance, element, diverse, useful people, body of health. And even while I'm using the Google Translate app, if I scan the bottle several times, it'll give me different translations, you know, doing the same words over and over again will give me different translations for the words. So I think Google Translate is not perfect. Like they do a good job overall, but I don't think they uh, translate it 100%. So let's just open these up. I really don't have much else to say about them. Um, and do a taste test. Snow Mountain. No, no smell to it. It's kind of like a mineral taste to it. It's, it definitely does not taste distilled. It has like a mineral content to it. There's the run tan water. This one seems a little bit more pure. Okay, let's do the pH test. Okay, here's the results of the pH test. The one on the left looks like a 6 to me. The one on the right, I'm not sure. I am colorblind, so you guys decide for yourself which pH number you think the waters are. Yeah, like I was saying, it was pretty difficult researching these just because there's like no English articles or information online about these two. So I have to go through Google Translate, but it's always like jumbled up English through Google Translate. I think it's like, I think it's difficult to translate Chinese to English and it's even harder for an algorithm to do it. So I'm going to give you guys some fun facts about China and it turns out Chinese is the most popular language in the world based on the number of native speakers. I kind of would have guessed Spanish would be number one, maybe, um, or maybe English, but it turns out Chinese is more popular worldwide than those than any other language, just because China's population is so high, mainly. And another fun fact, China is the owner of every panda in the world. <laughs> Literally all, all pandas in the world, every single one. And if there's a panda in a different country, it's because China is renting that panda to that country or letting them borrow the panda. But every panda is the property of China. Another fun fact about China, they only have one time zone. The land mass of China is only slightly smaller than the United States, but through all of that land, it's only one time zone which makes sense, like it would really simplify everything. I kind of wish 
you know, the United States was only one time zone. When you fly from one state to another, it can be tricky, like, you know, resetting to the new time zone and resetting your clocks and stuff. Uh, I think they made this change in the 1940s, and um, they stuck with it. So, here we go. This has, like, almost a slight earthy, dirty, um, like, mineral taste to it. <clears throat> this one, the suntan one, has more of a, just a pure, clean water taste to it. So I'm going to say that the winner is the suntan water, and I'm not going to finish it because I'm going to need the rest of this for round two. So congratulations, suntan water. I'm going to finish this one, though. It's not really bad at all. It's just that out of these two, the suntan is the winner. Did you guys notice um, Josie Drinks Water closed his account and deleted his videos? Uh, that kind of sucks. I, I kind of wonder why, but a couple days ago he just deleted all of his videos. Um, maybe his like uh, family or friends found, found his channel and they just discouraged him from making the videos and... Um, yeah, it's kind of, I understand stopping to making water videos, but it's kind of weird to just delete them all. Um, but, you know, Josie was good while it lasted. Uh, you guys should check out Ian's channel, though. Ian drinks water. Maybe someday he'll pass Josie's record. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.